What up, Gemini? I know, y'all. It's like, okay, so we're doing damn near the last days of Libra season. I know. But, you know, I'm not going to keep y'all. I just wanted to pull a card. Um, but before I do pull a card, I will say um, my apologies for the readings. Not getting to um up to date oh sorry y'all oh i have been every fucking where so i haven't really been able to you know sit down and do this and even when i was able to sit down and do this my uh to be able to upload it was a beast <laughs> be able to upload it was a beast we're just gonna say that and so i mean i'm talking about and i know the retrograde is among us and i was trying to upload and trying to upload and upload and upload and upload fail upload fail so i'm like you know what whatever i'll come back to it so i will be doing gemini aries capricorn scorpio and virgo and uh, I won't keep y'all. Just kind of pull cards. Cards already flew out for you, Gemini. Um, we do have the participation card, the four of fire card. And we also have suppression. Ooh, in reverse. Of fire already on the table. Four of ten of fire. So, um... We'll start with participation. This card is about give and take. It is about being able to receive, but also being able to give. If you look closely, one hand, one palm of the hand is open and one palm of the hand is closed for different elements. Palladians. In order for, I would just say, I guess this could be like a wrap out lesson for Libra season for all signs or the signs that I've, I miss. Um, in order for this suppression, this weight, even though this is a fire card, if you can see this clouds in the head and the mind, you notice you can't see this person's face. This is of the mind. And this, these roots that I formulated at the bottom from the chains that chains that this person is tied up in, is because its person is so bogged up in their mind that they can't see past anything outside of the box that they created for themselves. And this is you in here, Gemini, suppressed. Might have a lot to say when talking, but nothing's really coming out. Nothing's really coming out. Nothing is really, nothing is true. Nothing is true to what is really needing to come out. It's just like, all I'm seeing is somebody talking, but it's like filler words. It's not really anything. What I don't know why I'm thinking about the Eminem song. All days, everybody got to talk, and they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move their lips. It's a bunch of gibberers. I got about... So I'm just like, you know, look at it. This is stemmed. This is rooted. This is deep-seated, rooted suppression. And if this cloud... You know, if, if, if this is where you want to stay from Libra season moving into Scorpio season, if this is where you want to stay, then your mind is going to crush you. Your mind is your worst enemy right now. The twins are going fucking crazy. <laughs> and I feel like 
you aren't able to fully participate. I'm going to pull one more card. You aren't going to be able to fully participate in what's to come. You aren't going to be able to full, fully participate in what's to come if you don't learn how to balance that give and take out. You can be on either end. I'm not saying that you are on one or the other. You just whatever end that you decide that you are, be honest with yourself and know that, hey, the choice is yours. You can stay in that box. You can stay stuck or you can truly, you know, take the time out to get up out of that suppression. What advice do you have for Gemini to move out about this state of state? <laughs> move out this, move out this, move out this. That weight's going to crush you. Ooh, that weight's going to crush you. Oh, God, just a lot of battling in the mind. Oh, God, y'all petty as hell. Slow down. Slow the fuck down, mutable air. I know it's so hard telling mutable air to slow down, but... You'll learn. That's pretty much what I have to do. You'll learn. If if if, if you don't want to... If you don't want to roll with the punches now, Gemini, hey. <laughs> You'll learn. Find you a turtle to talk to. You might want to go talk to Taurus. You might want to get a Taurus or somebody with strong Taurus placements. And you might want to sit at the table with them for a couple of days. Because a Taurus is going to teach you how to slow the fuck down. You should know. It's right before, you know, Taurus, Gemini, you know. That's, you can learn a thing or two from Taurus. So... Definitely do that. The schizophrenia card that popped out is being between, once again, it's between the mind. Not being able to make a firm decision on things that you want to do, things that you want to say. It's so Libra, so Libra. So for air on top of air season, yes, this can be a lot. But moving into Scorpio season, this is your message, Gemini. Slow the fuck down. Slow down. Regroup. And slow down. Or this cloud that's formulating in your mind will inevitably crush you. I, it's interesting how the cloud is even the weight. Because of the mind. So I will see you in Scorpio season, Gemini. I will be starting those videos tomorrow. And, yeah. Happy Libra season. Finishing this off. You know where to find me. RainyStorm at gmail.com. You can find me at Linktree RainyStorm. If you would like to book a natal chart or a personal reading, which you're all my love, I can girl. And I'll see you for Scorpio season. For sure.